what I'm getting ready to do here, show the molds, is I'm making an oil pan. So we've made all the molds. Uh, they start out as 3D prints. <clears throat> Like this started out as 3d prints and there's one other mold that went this this end one which I actually see and seed out stuck under there but anyway <clears throat> these are all molds that are part of the assembly and if we come over here you'll see if the assembly when we put it together will look like this and the total volume is 203 cubic inches so we come over here to our chart which is 205, which is close enough. So it's 3,733. And so that's how much we've gotten in grams for sand set up in here. So then in our chart, 3,733, wherever that is, we need um, 186.6 in the mixture. So we come over here to our other chart and we're looking for 186, so we're gonna do it in urethane. So we're gonna use 185, which is close enough, so we're gonna be 97.4 and 87.6. So we're gonna use this mixture set, this uh, Smoothcast 320 material. Kind of in the middle of some molding that I did this morning, but uh, it's all right. So when we get back, I'll have this stuff mixed up, and we'll mix this up and start filling these. Okay, so we just mixed our urethane mix. We're using urethane because I need it to be strong enough to pull with these high draft. With the draft being that high on there, on some of those tools, I do a pre-mix with it before I... Uh, put the spinner on it because the spinner will throw all the junk on the sides of the container and it just gets gummy. So then you rerun this in reverse, it makes better. Mix it better. Some of these are very flexible here, so you have to be very, very careful when you're putting the sand in there. And it's better to put it in the sand, just drop the sand in and let it set versus trying to pack it in. I mean, you can do a shake down like that, works best. Before you mix it, it looks a lot like oatmeal. Yep, there were chunks. And that is the thought of the day. Because you don't want this moving that much in the final casting. You want it to be pretty straight up and down. So, as you notice, I'm not really packing it really heavy. I'm not packing it from the top because that will cause it to deform. gentle pack. Oh, same thing here. This stuff starts to set and turns into a rock, so you gotta, you gotta get it going pretty quick. I feel like I didn't measure enough sand. I didn't measure enough sand at all. Wow. Okay. I was gonna say, it didn't seem like enough, but I thought you had done the math. I did do the math. Lord. Carried the one around 100. Something happened. Only enough for these two. Very strange. As we have mentioned in previous films, 
you must wear gloves while doing this because otherwise it may crystallize on your hands. This is uh, urethane, so urethane's not really great on your hands either, so I prefer to wear gloves for this. Okay, when we come back, we'll have all the molds. We'll have to figure out what's going on with the volume. That's all screwed. Okay, so this is um, our mold. Clamps together. So we have to uh, make sure the sealing is going to go together. missing a part. Oh, I didn't make that part it's in a different mold. Alright, well. Now we pour it into the mold. Make sure to have sand around it just in case if it starts spilling out from the sides. Sign that came up the top. Okay. Um, can you bring that cupcake pan in here? Yeah, kind of mold that we needed to have extra clamps for. So, so we'll see how it came out first. Mm -hmm. I think it did its thing. Looks quite nice so far. Does it have the logo? That's what's important. That's obviously what's important. Function functionality does not matter at all. Ugh. Smoke is what matters. And, of course, our logo. <laughs> yeah, I can't really see the logo. Oh, I can. So if the logo came out, then everything else probably came out quite well also. Right. There it is. Okay, here is the oil pan for the V8 engine. This is the bottom part, obviously. This is the oil section. And then this is the side. 